Today, I want to talk about how Topspin changed tennis forever. I think it's the biggest revolution and evolution the game has ever seen. And we often think of rackets and strings as being the biggest change in tennis. Uh, but if you hear me out, you're going to really see how Topspin changed tennis forever, especially the way that people play today and are able to hit the ball so aggressive, so hard, yet they seem to play with a lot of safety. And so if you're somebody who is looking to add more power into your game, but also feel that you have control over your power, then you really want to understand and be able to execute Topspin. And I'm going to help you do that uh, at the end of this video. So make sure that you stick around. But let's get into the history of tennis and how it has evolved into this power game that's dominated by topspin, especially on the forehand side. So if you look at tennis in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, there was a lot of different styles in the game. You had many pros, and I'll give some examples, who hit the ball with a lot of slice on their forehand, very flat. And then there were some who had topspin. So we think about players like Newcomb and Ash and Pam Shriver, Martina Navratilova, Chris Evert. A lot of these players hit the ball very flat or with also they would use slice off in their game. Occasionally they come over the ball with topspin. But even as far back as the 60s, the players who were able to hit with a lot of topspin, especially compared to their peers, were able to dominate. If you look at Rod Laver, Rod the Rocket Laver, who is many many people think is the original GOAT, he came over the ball on his topspin forehand and his topspin backhand, which was very unusual back then to be able to come over the ball with a one-handed backhand. Then in the 70s, Borg dominated tennis with his topspin forehand and backhand, pretty much being unbeatable on clay and grass as well. And then in the 80s, we had power tennis being born into tennis with Ivan Lendl, who played with a lot of power. And if you look at his forehand, his forehand, even by today's standard, looks very modern. And he was able to be a very aggressive player because of that technique and be able to rip the ball topspin. And really, the game never looked back since... Lendo, I think, because then you had Becker falling right behind and Agassi and Sampras. And then we had the three goats coming in with Roger Federer. Many people give him credit for that ATP blueprint. So many people copied Federer's technique because it was just so nice, efficient, and he was able to rip the ball aggressively with topspin. Novak Djokovic, another amazing topspin forehand that's gotten better over the years. And then we have the king of clay, also the king of topspin, Rafa Nadal. And now if you look at the game, whether you're looking at the men's game or the women's game, it doesn't matter. The pros all hit topspin. Why, why is this? Why did topspin win out over flat balls and slice balls? Because the way that it's built, the physics of topspin, it rewards acceleration. The faster you swing with good technique and you can feel the spin off the ball, it actually becomes safer. So you're getting the best of both worlds. You can hit the ball pretty much as hard as you want. And if your technique is on point and you feel the spin coming off the racket, you also ver feel very safe, even under pressure. Even when you're nervous, you can still rip a topspin forehand. And the way the, the way the physics are built to go over the net because you're avoiding the obstacle of the net, the ball goes up and then drops into the court, players feel very confident ripping that topspin for him. So if you want to be able to play with more power, but also more control, I have something really cool for you right now. I have a three-day topspin challenge that's going to, first of all, show you some power positions, teach you some technique to set up your topspin for him perfectly, and then more important, I'm going to teach you how to get the feel of topspin. The feel makes it real. If you can feel the ball gripping and ripping those strings, you're going to be able to play a much more aggressive brand of tennis that's also more consistent and safe. So you can do it even when you're nervous. So uh, if that sounds good to you, go down in the description box. I'm also going to put it here in the card section. Also, there's going to be a little uh, box that shows up at the end of this video that you can click on to sign up for your free Topspin Challenge. You want to do this soon, though, because we're starting April 15th, and it's just three days. So make sure that you sign up for it. 
And uh, if you like this video, give it a like. And if you're totally obsessed with tennis and you want to keep staying obsessed, then make sure you follow this channel. And the best way to do that is to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video.